Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Annapurna and you are watching On Shanti by Annapurna. Hey guys, I'm so excited because I'm traveling to Gokarna, which is a coastal town in Karnataka. After an overnight bus journey from Bangalore through these beautiful landscapes, I reached here. So guys, it's day 1 of my Gokarna trip. I'm staying at uh, a resort in Kumta, which is around 10 to 15 kilometers from uh, Gokarna. But the best part about this day is that it has a private beach which is an extension of the Paradise Beach which is one of the most famous beaches of Gokarna. So this fence that you see behind that is my stay. There are some chairs kept here. I believe other guests also come and sit near the beach. Of course, when they had said that there's a private beach, I had not really believed it because uh, uh, this property didn't have a lot of pictures on the internet so it was only when I came here that I realized that oh it's an actual private beach with literally nobody around here at this time Along the Nirvana beach there are plenty of uh, resorts lined up so you can choose where to stay This is just around uh, 200 meters walk from my room It's very hot here today It's 32 degrees and hot, humid, sweaty, everything uh, but the moment I stepped into the water, I started feeling so good I'm hoping that this is going to be more amazing as the sun goes down and I'm going to be back again so keep watching if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon so you get regular updates about all of my posts It's 2 p.m. and since it's hot, uh, the beach is mostly deserted but I wanted to spend some time by myself so I came here alone. There are a lot of crabs around here, those baby crabs and it was only today that I realized that these small holes which are there on the beach, this is where they live. Look, these are the crabs that I'm telling you about. And this feeling of... Uh the water coming towards you and then receding is one of the most soothing feelings ever. This was just the beginning. After this, I went and got drenched fully in the water. So guys, that was the before part and uh, this is the after part. I was in the water for a very long time. Uh, gulped down a lot of sea water, I guess. So probably what they don't tell about sea water is that aside from tasting like spoonfuls of uh, salt mixed in water, it also makes your eyes stink very bad. And uh, it happened with me a couple of times, in fact more than a couple of times, but uh, nevertheless it was a lot of fun. So guys, I'm back again at the beach, uh, not exactly at the beach, but I'm sitting around uh, 100 meters away from the beach. and. Uh, after I showed you my uh, beach look, I took a quick shower, cleaned myself up thoroughly, then loaded on sunscreen again, dried my hair and here I am just uh, enjoying the view and uh, honestly waiting for the sunset. Uh, I was just sitting here wishing that, oh, I wish the sun sets a little early today, but that's not how things work, right? So let's see when it's sunset, I'm going to show you the view uh, which I'm waiting for myself. So keep watching. So I just wanted to give you a quick peek. Uh, this uh, shack that you see over here, behind that are the rooms. And this is an open area which I guess gets lit up during the night. And uh, these are uh, tiny gazebo-like structures which they've made with seating arrangements and as you keep walking ahead you can see that we are at the beach this place turned out much better than I had expected I mean the rooms and all are pretty basic but I guess it's the view that counts right most of us when we come to such places we spend uh, uh, almost uh, our entire day outside and just come back to the room to relax but here it's different just uh, 
I'm spending most of my time inside the property itself because uh, the beach is what I came for to go Karna and it's right here. I don't have to go any far for it. So pristine and perfect. And of course, I did some book reading at the beach. It's time for the sunset now. We were waiting for this since the afternoon and uh, it felt like it took forever for the sun to set today. It was overhead, then we kept on waiting for it to dip, dip, dip and now finally it's just about to go down. Sunrise and sunset is perhaps the best time to be on the beach. Uh, sunrise later, but for now I have the sunset. Uh, in the afternoon, this beach was completely deserted, but uh, now like you can see there are some people here, but still it's relatively very less crowded considering that it's New Year's and uh, usually beaches are crowded. Behind me, what you see, like that's the beach sand and the way the sun is forming its shadow on the sand, you know, giving it that glimmering, uh, shiny appearance with that orange halo. It's such a beautiful sight to behold. Oh, I just saw a few starfish. Starfish seem like such pretty yet uh, mysterious creatures. I uh, saw so many of them uh, uh, during the evening. At this exact place, like you can see the sand uh, is wet in the morning uh, and even in the afternoon the waves were reaching till here but right now they are a bit far. Now, since I already soaked in a lot in the afternoon and now I've showered and uh, you know all prepped up my hair and everything I don't feel like going into the water again plus it's a bit cold right now. Oh my god, it's it's beautiful. Like I'm I'm falling short of words. Just look at the sun, it feels so magnificent going down the horizon. This one was without any doubt one of the most beautiful sunsets that I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, I just felt like a little kid who wanted to play in the water for as long as possible. Just splashing the waves and uh, enjoying every moment. Nirvana Beach is definitely one of the cleanest beaches in India. And uh, I guess it's one of the best beaches in Gokarna. So you should uh, not miss out on it if you're visiting Gokarna. And this experience also made me realize that uh, when you are uh, going for a beach vacation, then choosing a stay that has direct access to the beach is a really good decision. So guys, this was all about my time at the Nirvana beach. Uh, there are more such videos on other beaches of Gokarna coming up. For that, make sure you've subscribed to my channel and stay tuned for more such content. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.